about a 15 minute warning, just about a 15 minute warning to our first competitive sled, and it's a two minute warning to our first four runner. <laughs>
Marcotte sitting in third.
eighth and final race of the BMW IBSF Women's Skeleton World Cup. We're back in Lake Placid, where next year we will return for the World Championships for 2025. But before that, we have to get our final World Cup encounter of this season done and decide the fate of the Crystal Globes. Hello, everybody. Martin Haven with the action from the double Olympic venue here. There's the roller coaster that runs above the old track that runs down the mountain beside the new track. 1,500 meters of fast, sinuous, and very hard ice. 107 meter drop. This track picks up speed early. The start ramp isn't that long either. Dropped away over the edge pretty quickly, even for our skeleton athletes. Rushes a lane in the Keatona, 503 start record. That dates back to November 2017. Another one of those really bitter races where it was down below 20 degrees, minus 20 degrees. Into the early few corners, keeping everything clean, and then into Devil's Highway. The stretch from corner five to seven brings you down through eight and nine, and then to the big double height. Corner 10, shady. Big two and a half pressure turn into the lower labyrinth, 11, and then 12, 13, a very quick transition has caused a lot of problems into Benham's Bend, named after the great Stanley Benham, uphill through the chicane, and then dropping down into the hut, corner 17, Little right-hander, 18, then 19, the final turn, and across the line as you head uphill towards the finish dock. So skeleton finish just before corner 20. And in our World Cup standings, it is Kimberly Boss of the Netherlands who leads by over 200 points with Kim Marman. So unless she does not score at all and Marman's wins, it is unlikely that the gold crystal globe will go anywhere other than the Netherlands. Kim Marman's in second place, but she's only 18 points ahead of Germany's Tina Herrmann. World champion Hallie Clark just outside the top 10. She should move up. There are a couple of notable absentees in our field of 33 sliders, only 10 of whom, by the way, raced here as recently as last year in the World Cup. So 23 of them do not have relatively much World Cup experience. There's Hallie Clark, the 19-year-old world champion. She does know the track well, but Suzanne Crayer there. And the uh, younger sliders not quite so familiar with this track. So our start list begins with the Belgian, Ellen Cummins. She was here for the North America's Cup races a couple of weeks ago, as were most of the sliders. The Germans, though, did not compete here, nor did Kim Marmans, uh, nor did Nicole Silveira of Brazil, but most of the rest of the field did. So they've got relatively good recent experience. In our field, Katie Ulander, her last World Cup here in November 2017. She was the world champion here in 2012. Some of these athletes were in junior school at that stage. Away we go, final World Cup race of the season. Ellen Peltman's turned 22 just two weeks ago here in North America. She raced here for the first time a fortnight ago in the North America's Cup. It's her seventh World Cup start. She had a very good weekend actually for a first timer on this track, 12th and 16th in the NAC races, and they were not small fields, they were enormous fields. Now, a little bit of a wild ride early on. Skeleton athletes particularly been saying that the ice is fairly choppy, and that's because of recent mild weather, same as we saw in Altenburg, the warm weather, and in Winterberg especially, the warm weather allows the ice to kind of melt away at differing rates. It's very hard once it starts to ripple and ridge to erase those. Down through the heart, big skid into 19 and out of the final corner. Across the line comes Aileen Peltman, 56.08. Well, that gives us a little bit of a target to look at. Track record held, by the way, by Katie Ulender of the USA. That dates back to November 2020. So that's a four-year-old, three-year-old, three-season-old record. 
She set that in an America's Cup race. Some of the chase open now. It's still a cold, windy day. Air temperature nominally minus 11. Feels a lot colder than that with the wind behind it. Oh, big smile from Ellen. That's Mike Rogals helping with the sled. Next up for Malta, Shannon Gallia. Just her third World Cup start. And she finished 31st in both of the NAC races here a couple of weeks ago. Former pro softballer. And she's been a media attache in the Paralympics in 2018 and 2022. Comes from Montreal, about two hours away from Lake Placid. So this is literally the closest town or the closest track to home. Off a 5-9-0 start, she's on the back foot to Alina Peltman's already, but she does have decent knowledge of this track. 13 races here in NAC, 11 of them, she finished in the top 10. Whoa! Second best speed, so behind Peltman's, the gap is out to eight tenths already. Shannon's going to be a second and change behind. She can get out to it, get close to two seconds behind at the line. 58.05. Leslie Stratton. It's not too far away from Lake Placid. A couple of hours away as well, down in New England. Former slider in skeleton for sweden has not yet officially announced that she's not coming back but who can tell well shannon having a pretty wild ride here she head up in a few places a big late height on the exits and that's a very uncomfortable very bruising ride down now, Malta and Belgium are not Pam contenders, but Colombia is. This is Laura Vargas, engineering graduate, born in Mexico City, lives in Calgary. 587 getaway. So, starting three tenths slower than Alain Peltman's. And like Shannon Gallia, she will be trying hard to make it into the second heat, but she is really skidding. Lots and lots of work to stop the sled moving under. She's gone with, because of the hard ice, gone with a very small contact patch for maximum speed. The harder the ice, the smaller patch you can get away with, but it does mean it skids a lot quicker than Shannon Gallia at this stage. Second best speed of three sleds. So some way behind Alain Pogmans. He's had nine North America's Cup races here. And a 57-75. She was 27th and 35th in the two NAC races here a couple of weeks ago. This is her seventh World Cup race. I have a feeling that may be a one-shot wonder. Again, you can see, look how much the sled moves around. And she is not as inexperienced a slider as has not been kind to her. The sled just breaking sideways all the way down the track. Oh, I'm loving the new blonde hair. Are you watching? <laughs> Superb. So next up is our World Cup points winner from last year. And Tina Herman, last year's race winner, now starting her 80th World Cup race. Turn 32 just a couple of weeks ago. Four-time world champion Herman was dropped from the German squad for the Worlds 
in Winterberg, came right back and won the last race in Altenburg. Herman Lein third in the World Cup standings, could still move up. 1100s back behind the leg Coltmans, and that's showing really good speed from the Belgian. She's losing ground to Coltmans. The German men struggle here. Tina Herman with the best speed so far. 1600s back. Clean ish through the chicane. 72.2 miles an hour, that is. Out of the final corner, she's finally in the green and 55.92. Well, to be only 1600s ahead of Elena Peltman's last year's race winner, that is trouble for Tina Herman. So so was the hand gesture. Quite good. Mm. Well, let's wait and see how this transpires. The German men struggled. Christopher Grote here, who came here as the World Cup points leader, saw the Crystal Globe go instead to Matt Weston. Grote here was barely inside the top 20. He was the worst of the four German sliders. <laughs> Oh, it's good to see a smile on Tina's face. Now then, what about Janine Flock? Last race here for her was December 2019. She did not come here last season, but with 103 World Cups already under her belt. Her fourth ever World Cup was here back in December 2010. It was the fourth run of four North American races. We had four tracks, Calgary, Whistler, Park City, and then Lake Placid. She has also been a race winner here. Only three previous Lake Placid World Cup race winners and one world champion in the field. In the green, best speed of all. Just creeping away from Tina Herman and Ellen Buckmans. Nice, controlled looking slide from Janine. Absolutely classic Janine flop. Four tenths up. Well, I think that tells us probably what we need to know about Tina Herman's run. It ain't going to get a gold this season, but I mean, that's for sure. Janine Flock, that might be enough to put her in the medals. Again, that big late exit off Shady, straight and hard onto 11. Look at her coming nicely through the chicane, but a little skid at the end. Two thumbs up from Andy Hi. Schmidt. That's almost a Yarvol. Five sleds in to our field of 33. Eighth and final women's skeleton World Cup race of the season. Sixth sled on ice it is Valentina Margalia, the 30 year old. Two previous World Cups here, best result, 22nd place a couple of seasons ago. That was December 2019, pre-COVID, 5.22. Well, that is the fastest start so far. And 3,900s at the start, quicker than Janine Flock. And out to 5,800s up. Whoa! Lucy Goosey, Valentina Margalia, is definitely trimmed out for speed. Big height all the way through Shady 2. Only the fourth best speed, though. Skidding it away too much. 4,700s down to 2,700s. She's not going to have much of a lead left at the line. Only the third best speed. Will she be in front at all? Yes, by 900s. 
55-43 run. So 900s ahead of Jillian Flock. Tina Herman in third, 4900s back. <laughs> Yay! Get a bit out of breath there. It's a wild ride. And that can be a bit brooding. There's the exit of three. And then look at this. Whoomp! Coming down off Shady. And hard on to 11. And then falling off there as well. Out of Benham's bend. Head down. Trusting the process. One more. One more run in the season. Misty Rowe, the Bush World Champion for last year in her first World Cup start here. Her third ever race here uh, was here in January 20, uh, 2018. 521. Good getaway from Misty Rowe. 12 NAC races here, six wins, a silver and a bronze among her results. She's been all but unbeatable on this track at the second tier of sliding for the last few seasons. And she's still in the green and building her advantage over Margalio. Second best speed, too much control maybe. 2900s out to 4400s up. Finding run from Misty Rowe. She's been waiting all season to get onto a track she really knows. And across the line, 55-02. That is a huge run from Misty Rowe, the 29-year-old from the USA. It's her eighth World Cup race. And she has blown them into the weeds. Well, late exit out of three, hits the wall hard, but comes off pretty square. And then down, this is away from Benham's Bend. Hits early before the chicane. And then the second hit, that's not helping her build the speed. But she had some really good looking exits on that run. Great stuff from mid eight row. Our eight starter is our second place athlete in the standings, Kim Marmons. Turned 28 a couple of weeks ago. World Championship silver medalist in Winterberg. 5.35 is the getaway, giving away 1400s to Mystique Rowe. That's still going to be one of our quick starts. Now, can she build the speed here as well? Product of the of her early years in the German program. Coached by Anna Mirandel, Richard Bromley. Bromley built sled. Second best speed. She's as quick as Misty Rowe, but it's taken longer to get there. The gaps come down to 3200. 117 dead. Second best speed. 72.7 miles an hour, and across the line, only 1,500s back. That was a good run, a really good run at the bottom from Kim Marman, building speed the way we see so often at the fast part of the track. Now she is in a fierce battle with Tina Herman for the runner-up spot in the World Cup rankings. And at the moment, it is definitely advantage Marmons. She's 7,500s ahead of Herman. And that's a big gap into which probably a number of other sliders are going to fall. Marmons with a slender points advantage is definitely adding to that. Yeah, that felt good. One more time. Now then, for Jacka, Jacqueline Pfeiffer, 61st World Cup start for the 29-year-old. 32 medals in the previous 60 races. And her last race here, same as Kim Marman, same as Valentina Margaglio, same as Janine Flock.
December 2019. And like Kim Armans, she did not race here in the NAC races a couple of weeks ago. I think the German men may have felt that that was not an advantage. 5.53. Now she's got a lot of making up to do. The leader started at 5.21. She starts 32 hundreds back before he even gets to the first corner. Gaps out to 59 hundreds. We did see Tina Herman bringing it back at the bottom. We saw Kim Marmons bringing it back at the bottom. This is looking good from Jacka. Best speed of all. How close does she get? Still the top speed. A whisker quicker than Janine Flock. Within a couple of tenths of a line. She's three tenths back. Not enough. So third place behind okay. Mystique Rowe, the leader, and Kim Marmons in second place. Jacka is three tenths off the lead. She, too, is a previous winner on this track. Two wins, a silver medal in her six previous World Cup outings. Will she add to that today? It is possible. That was a good-looking run. But that lack of speed at the start, even on this track. I'm Hard. Hard to overcome. One more. Now then, here's our World Cup points leader, the yellow jersey of Kim Boss, going for her second overall title of her career. The 30-year-old won it in the Olympic season, 2021-2022. Can she do it again halfway through the next quad? Started at 533, 1200s back. Third best start. She's fourth on the splits at the moment, but bringing down the margin. Another quick run. 112-0, same speed as Jagger Pfeiffer. 2100s back, skids it through Chicane, only the third best speed. Not as quick as Pfeiffer, as quick as Miss Deep Road, but that's not enough. She's not going to close. She'll be second at the line. Eight hundreds back. She did close. Wow. So the final speed trap, trap, they are still accelerating through there. And she carried speed all the way to the bottom. Look how far up she comes. There's Mike Rogers, the former US slider, helping with the sled. 55-1 off a 5.33 start. Late exit. That'll need tidying up. The chicane wasn't the cleanest either. So hard to shoot it in a skeleton sled. She really got thrown sideways. Hi. Hi, everybody. She hadn't had that skid. She'd be the leader. Mystique Rowe is, though. Kim Bloss in second. Kim Marmons in third. 10 down, 23 to go here in Lake Placid. Next up, the 19-year-old world champion and Pan Am junior champion, Harry Clark of Canada. 23rd and 24th in the NAC races here two weeks ago. Was she trying equipment? Was she jogging off to stay healthy? 546 getaway, 2500s behind Mystic Row, our first round leader so far. But Halley Clark knows this track well. Oh, big skids, only the six best speed. End of her second, sneezes her as a World Cup slider. Her first for Canada, she raced last year for the USA. How close is she going to be? The answer is not at all close. Seventh at the line, nine tenths back. 
Uh, her best result here, her only World Cup result here, 18th place last season. And her best World Cup results have been a pair of silver medals this year. But of course, knocking all of that into a cocked hat, gold in the World Championships in Winterberg, the last race. But here, the timing was off, and the setup's not right either. The sled is skidding under her everywhere. Does not have the control she needs. Suzanne Crayer next up, silver medalist here last year and the outgoing world champion, 2023 world champion from Samaritz, Suzanne. Here in the ICC in 2019 and in 2020. Last year, her third race on this track and like her teammates, did not do the NBC races. 5.41 the getaway. 500 is quicker than Hallie Clark, but two slur the Mystic Road. So like Tina Herman is going to have to drive up the storm here to try and stay in contention. Jacka Pfeiffer currently in fourth place, three tenths back, the best of the Germans. And Kreia at the bottom of the Devil's Highway, already 4,500s back. 4,900s back out of Shady. 10th best speed and out of control. The sled skidding everywhere. Well, the least skinny in the Swedish game. 8th best speed. Top six potentially. She should be ahead of Tina Herman. At the line she is by 1900s. So Suzanne Kreia seventh, pushing Tina Herman and Hallie Clark down to eighth place as they are tied together. Again, you see the difference in speed at the bottom between her and Kim Boss and Mystique Rowe, who came right up to the camera there. Crea giving away time at the start, but she's not the only one who is. Mystique Rowe has the fastest start of all, but Crea's sled sideways too often. One more run to go for her, as there is for Hannah Neiser, our Olympic champion and the World Championship bronze medalist. The only German on the podium in a women's skeleton. And that was the only race in the entire thing that had just one German on the podium. 5.49 gets away for Neiser. Raced here last season to ninth place. Let's see if she can improve on that. Who's up there last year's silver medalist is down in seventh. Last year's Martina Herman in eighth. Half a second back as she gets to Shady. And the same problem that we saw with Suzanne Breyer. The sled is completely out of her control. Boost the chicane nicely, but only the 10th best speed. Comes into the half, eight tenths down. She's going to be around Hallie Clark and Tina Herman. She's 100th ahead of Hallie Clark and Tina Herman. So she is eighth, and they are now tied for ninth. So Suzanne Crea seventh, Hannah Neiser eighth, Tina Herman ninth. Suzanne Crea, world champion 2023. Hannah Neiser, Olympic medalist, uh, Olympic gold medalist 2022. Tina Herman, four-time world champion. They're seventh, eighth, and ninth. And we've only had 13 sleds. It is not a good day for German skeleton. Whatever they did in training, they have completely misread the conditions or what's required from the sleds for today. Okay, next up for Great Britain, Tabby Stoker. 
only races on this track were in the NAC earlier this month. In fact, only one of those. She started race one, finished in 12th place. So let's see what she's got for us in her eighth World Cup getaway. One gold, one bronze so far in her career. And a 5.22 getaway right in there swinging with the fastest start to Misty Grove. Just a hundredth of the American, but Misty was so much more experienced compared to Tanaburka on this track. 1,400 back. Everyone around her knows this track much better than Tabby. If she can end up in the top six even here, that will be an epic result. Fourth best speed. Still second. Down through Venoms. Gets a decent run through the chicane, but the speed's going away. Only ninth best speed. This could be a top three run at the line. Maybe fourth place. At the line, it's fifth, just two hundreds behind Jacka Pfeiffer. And given that she has had just one race weekend on this track this season, that's a good first run from Tabby Sturker. Just 23 years old, first fortnight in Lake Placid. And this could be a top six run by the end of the heat. Big late height and a hefty transition. But out of Benham's bend, coming pretty straight, tiniest of nudges through the chicane. Oh, hi, everyone. One more run left of the season. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's off to zigzags. Next up is... <laughs> It's Amelia Coltman. Now she has raced here twice before, raced in March 2020. She pops the groove as well. Oh, Jung Xiong Wei did that in the first heat. And Amelia Coltman pops the groove in the second. Now Tammy raced in the first of the NAC races. Amelia raced in the second to finish 10th. But with that almost jogging off start that she had had, no speed in the sled at all. Two seconds back, she won't get a second run. Eighth best speed, which is astonishing. But starting like a pedestrian because the sled came out of the groove, she had to basically come to a halt. She was trying to get it stopped before it broke the full timing beam, but she couldn't. And Amelia Coltman, 13th at the line, and I think that is the end of her season. Well, a 6.41 start. And that is a horrible way to end the World Cup. Two steps in and it comes out of the spur, but she keeps going. Now you could see there on the right hand side of the screen where the initial timing beam was. I think she had probably broken it and was committed then to the run. The clock starts going. If you can stop the sled and reset before you break that first timing beam, you can go again. So next up, and in the Cam Air, Can Pan Am Championship, the Colchavera of Brazil. First time in Lake Classic was in a bobsleigh in January 2018. Then it was a skeleton racer in November 2018 in the NAC. So she's been coming here a long while. Ten races here in NAC, Intercontinental Cup and World Cup races. Last year finished in 12th place. Of a ninth best start, she's driving herself closer to a top six run at the moment. Oh, and that is possibly the end of that. Only the 10th best speed anyway. And then that awful exit. Sled landing sideways. 
came clean but slow through the chicane, relatively slowly that is, only 70.8 rather than 73 miles an hour at the bottom, 56.06, 12th, well, she's ahead of Elaine Peltmans and four, what is she, uh, 14 hunts behind Tina Herman and Hallie Clark. The luck of the green has not been with Nicole Silvera this season. When she slid well, the setup hasn't been right. When the setup has been right, then she hasn't quite had what she needed. And again today, looks like they just missed on the setup. Her training partner Kim Marmons lies in third, but Nicole Silvera down in 12th. Bye, Ale. This is Alessia Kripper, 23-year-old. First time here this year. Eighth in race one, 34th in race two in the NAD a couple of weeks ago. That tells you about her experience. I-28 getaway, that tells you about her speed at the start. Fourth quickest start, just 700 off lead of Mystic Road. Petite and slender, she's got a tiny frontal area. Look how narrow her shoulders are as she hunches down onto the sled. And that's great for aerodynamics. The legs waving around a little less so, but that's important for control. Four fastest at the start. This is a top six run at the moment, but it's not going to stay that way. Only the 15th best speed and skidding it away down at the bottom. 11th best speed, out to 7th place, 8th place maybe, behind Janine Flock, maybe behind Suzanne Crayer in 9th, it is. Again, lots of coaches, lots of athletes, not quite having the control they need in these icy, icy conditions, but it was very cold yesterday. Shouldn't be a big surprise that the ice is so cold and hard today. It means you can get away with a smaller contact patch, which means less friction, which means more speed, but it does mean less control. With the ice as bouncy as it is, maybe a little bit more control is actually what's required. <laughs> They're all counting down for some reason to get to zigzag. I don't, don't know what that's about. Now then, what about Katie Ulander, 2012 world champion on this track. Last World Cup here was in November 2017. G1 here in 2006-2007. This is her hundred and something World Cup star. Katie Ulander off a 5.53 star. What can she do? How is she going to drive herself into contention here? 11th best start. No skids. Riding the corners high. And as ever with Katie, heels apart, using the knees to steer. Fourth best speed. What's she going to find at the bottom? Out of Venom, shoots the chicane. Second best speed. This is where you're going to build it. Into the heart. How close does she get to the top three at the line? She's four. That is a brilliant try from Katie Ulander. Fantastic stuff. 2700s off the lead. And she started 3,200s off the lead. She outdrove Misty Rowe. <laughs> yes, she really knows how to get speed on this track. She's having the same late exits as the other, but look at this, out of Benham's bend, doesn't touch the wall, toes stay off the ice. <laughs> She's still got those cuts on the chin from bashing the ice, despite these new pads that some of them are using on the helmets. 
Next up, Jane Channel. 13th here in last year's World Cup race. The push silver medalist here. So expect a big start. Push gold, of course, went to Mystique Rowe, who started 5.21. 71st World Cup race for Jane Channel. She too in contention for Pan Am Honours. 5.25, another strong start. 35 years old and still matching the younger fast starters. She's got that experience and that knowledge on her side as well. Fourth best at the start. Fourth best on the splits. Nice, smooth looking run. Gaps out to 2800s. This could be a top four run all the way down. Oh, hits the chicane hard on both sides. And that's going to leave her outside the top half dozen at the bottom. Tabby Sturker, 3,200s back, and Jane Channel is down in nine. Those really were aggressive hits in the chicane. Sheila felt them, and so did her speed. 55.56, 5,400s back. She's ahead of Suzanne Kreyer, Hannah Neiser, and Tina Herman. So she's got Olympic and world champions behind her. Into the chicane, big hit, fires her over to the opposite wall. You're doing 70 miles an hour, there's nothing you can do. The sled goes where it's sent by, by Newton's laws. Well, she is currently third, the bronze medalist in the Pan Am battle behind Misty Rowe and Katie Ulander. Now, finger guns, Alessandra Fumigali with her Pokeball helmet. Let's see what the 25-year-old Italian have got. Like her teammate Alessia Crippa, this season is the first time she's ever been racing in North America. 534 getaway. Only her 13th World Cup start. Takes a hit on the exit of three. Out of five, six, seven. Then into corner eight and nine. Quick swap over into 10, big height. Comes straight down the middle into 11. And then 12, 13, such a hard transition into Benham's Bend. How does she get in the chicane? Big skid on the exit. Only the 13th best speed. Seventh at the start. She'll be doing well to be 15th at the line. A second back. 8,500 back. 12th place ahead of Hanizer, the Olympic champion. Ahead of Hallie Clark, the world champion and Tina Herman, the four-time world champion. She tidied that up down in the bottom. And despite that little skid in the chicane, actually below the labyrinth, she was good. Long skids here early on though, sapping that early speed. And then this 12-13 transition, such a tough one to get right. <laughs> A bad skid out of the chicane. And Cora Una. Does that mean one more, do you think? <laughs> she is cut. Now then, the yellow helmet tells us this is the Czech Republic's Anna Fernstedt. Long time sliding partner, Leslie Stratton at the top there, yelling her off. Anna's 53rd World Cup start. Her best result here was her first World Cup race, December 2016. She finished fourth for Germany before she changed, deciding for the Czech Republic. Five NAC and Intercontinental Cup medals here. And currently, from 16th fastest start, going backwards. 17, head up, not at all confident, and a fair net. 
She finished seventh and eleventh in the NAD races a couple of weeks ago. She has not got that speed today. Yes, the Germans are here, and they weren't in the NAC race. Oh, huge skid at the bottom. There's Nick Timmings watching as well. 56-2-6 for Anna Fernstedt. British slider, Freya Harbour. Uh, that's not a great run. 18th place. Sled just breaking away from her too much. Uh, she's working on her own sled, building her own sled. And while in the long term, that mean, may mean gains. In the short term, it means pain when you get it wrong. She does not have control. You see so much work going on to try and stop the sled yawing and skidding underneath her. Back is clear to start one for Freya Tarbett, a great break. All right. Mystique Rowe leads from Kimberly Boss and Kim Marmons with Katie Ulander challenging the medals. <laughs> Away we go with Freya Tarbett, the 23-year-old, her eighth World Cup start, did both. NAC races here a couple of weeks ago, 14th and 7th, and a 5.29 getaway is a very quick start. Uni World Championship bronze medalist last year, big skid off corner two, down to three. Lost some tape off the sled as well, as we saw it blowing in the slipstream behind her. And already 4,500s back. She's going to be down towards the bottom of the teams at this rate. Her deep best speed. Teammate Amelia Coleman is 19th after hopping the groove. Only the 16th best speed. Freya is going to struggle to be much ahead of her teammate. Look how slow she looks at the bottom. 55.99. Sixteenth place for Freya Tarbin ahead of the Cole Silvera. And actually, only seven hundreds behind Tina Herman. And Tina Herman thought that her run was quite good. I don't think Freya will have thought hers was quite good. From two to three, she had a big skid. And there's the exit of three, hits the wall, sled breaks, sled breaks sideways and skids again on the run down to four, out of Benham's bend, into the chicane, takes a little hit. And another one on the other shoulder. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Track is clear to start. One more. So Sarah Roderick for the USA. 23rd of our starters, like Freya Tarbert in her eighth World Cup race. She's had eight NAC and ICC races here, five podiums, including two NAC wins. She's had six World Cup starts this season, 5-3-0. Loss of noise from the home crowd for Sarah Roderick. Tenth and second in the two races in the NAC a couple of weeks ago. So if she can stitch this together, this could be a very good run. Seventh fastest at the start. She's up to six on the splits, but only the ninth best speed. She's going to drift away a little bit. Jacka Pfeiffer is fifth, Tammy Sturker is sixth, only the eighth best speed. Skidding down in the heart is going to cost her as well. Across the line, eighth place, 55-5-1. She is ahead of Janine Flock by 100 and behind Valentina Margaglio by 800 in eighth place. Skidding out of Benham's Bend, down into the chicane. Look, see the sled is start sideways coming off Benham's. She's got her right elbow out a little bit. Maybe not quite happy with her position on the sled after the dart, but a smile on the face of Sarah Roderick. It can be better. All right, you've got one more to tidy it up. 
Now, Kelly Delka returns to the World Cup. She was forced to miss out on the World Champs and on Altenburg. Lack of finance. Her 23rd World Cup start, though. Plenty of experience on this track. 13 NEC and ICC races. Three World Cups here before as well. Ninth and sixth here a couple of weeks ago. Let's see if Kelly can find that sort of speed again. She's had her second best ever World Cup result on this track. A 14th place finish at the beginning of last season. It's World Cup number three last year in December 2022. This is looking like a very smooth run for Kelly Delka, but at the expense, maybe some speed. Six best speed, though. When you're not skidding away, you're building it. Needs a clean chicane. It's pretty decent. What's 17th at the start? Up to 40. Is this a top 10 for Kelly Delka? She's going to be close. It's 12th place, 55.78. So 55.78 for Kel Delka. She is 1,200 out of the top 10. And Puerto Rico also in the Pan Am Championship battle. Well, this 12.13 crossover, better than many. That sets her up nicely for Benham's Bend, exiting there through the chicane. A touch and a little skid that kept her speed alive. All right. So Dan Ivey from Park City, Utah. The sponsor for this race for Kelly Delka. Greatly appreciated, I'm sure. Sarah Schmidt of Switzerland, her first time here. Did not do the NAC races. Junior World Championship bronze medalist this year and the under-20 silver medalist in the Junior Worlds. She's also the under-20 Junior European Champion 2023. So she's got junior titles already under her belt. This is going to be a bit of a bruising encounter with Lake Placid. Six runs in training over two days is not a lot to learn this track. It is fast and comes with a fierce reputation. This is North America's out of there. 25th best speed. Wild out of 12 into 13. Sideways into the chicane. She's going to struggle to get a second heat, Sarah Schmidt. 23rd on the spits at the line, 24th behind Lara Vargas of Colombia, but ahead of Shannon Galea, who is at the moment in 25th place. So 5, 7, 86. And again, you see the difference that the speed at the bottom makes. Track work is having to run all the way down to go and get. Well, here, Exeter 3 was late and high and hard. It's pinged away by the wall on the run down to four. She was skidding all the way down to four. And here as well, again, big skids on the exit. This is 12.13. Ouch. Scary is what that is. Still a smile on her face. They are different gravy, these athletes. 25 sleds down. The race is full. The remaining eight. It is now time to go fast or go home. So for Austria's Julia Elaka, who finished in 20th last year, made the cut, got into the second heat when you had to be in the top 20. Let's see what she can do. It is a bigger field, but are there 20 better sliders in it than there were last year? Eight fastest start, 5.33. That's a good way to get away. Former head athlete. She's a decent starter. She finished seventh in the Push World Championships women's skeleton here last year. And her World Cup debut 
was in North America last season. He raced in Whistler Park City in Lake Placid and then didn't do another World Cup until we got Europe this year. Eighth at the start, 12 on the splits at the moment. Oh, she could have done with being here in the NAC. Another few days of ice would have really helped that improvement. She's out to 20 seconds and all skidding through the heart. Hits the wall at the line. Well, at the moment, she is in and Shannon Galea of Malta is out. But Julia, who finished in 20th place last year on this track, 22nd at the moment with seven still to go. And there's the Exeter three. Look at the amount of ice she dislodged from the wall there. Big hit and skidding as she tries to hold the height. Didn't have the control she needed there in Shady. And again, scary head going up, legs going wow, down. Not the way you want one. to be in Shady. Full broadside through the chicane, really showing you the profile of the runners, that bow with a tiny contact patch. Well, will she get a second heat? Not yet sure. Julia Simpson of Switzerland might be a problem for her. This is Julia's first time here, though. Didn't race in the Europe Cup. Oh, did race in the NAC, rather. 18th and 26th. 5.78. Needs to find some speed at the start. Her driving is good. She looks like she's got a feel for the ice. Come and dad with both skeleton sliders. Her paternal grandfather, bobsled Olympic champion. She needs speed at the start. 24th at the start, driving her way into the field. Oh, good she came. 19th best speed. She might pick off another couple. Currently 23rd on the splits. 22nd ahead of Julia Erica. Did she get to have a third step? She could have done, but she hit the wall hard. That won't have been comfortable, and it certainly wasn't fast. That big hit on the wall. I think she would have jumped out of Enstedt, maybe. But, uh, no, maybe not. She's three tenths behind her. I don't think it did that much damage. But uh, 20 seconds, so she is in. But at the, ex yes, at the expense of her teammate, Sarah Schmidt. Well, here's 12-13. Bouncing around there. And the chicane. Not bad, carries the speed well, but this is the hit that hurt. Look at that. Track is clear to start and there the she's doing, clocking on for 74 miles an hour. And concrete and ice, it doesn't move. 28th of our 33 starters, Anja Unterscheider of Austria. 15th and 31st in the two NAC races. He needs a 15th NAC run here, not a 31st. 5.79 to get away, 100 slower than we just saw from Yulia Simpson. So if she drives well, she could be in. And Laura Vargas of Colombia could be out. The 25th at the start. 25th on the split. It is her or Laura Vargas. Now she's up to 24th ahead of Great Britain's Amelia Coltman. Ninth best speed. Wow, she likes to ride a wild pony. Look at this. Down to 17th best speed there out of Benham's Bend and through the chicane. 23rd up to 22nd. She's ahead of Yulia Simpson. And it will be 22nd at the line. She's in. So she is in, and Laura Vargas joins Sarah Schmidt and Shannon Gallia on the bench. They will not get a second heat. But Anya Unterscheider just might. Four to go. She's got three sleds behind her. I think, beg your pardon, five to go. 
I think she should be in. I think that is going to be enough. If not, it's going to be brutal. Track is clear to start one for Katharina Eigenhoff. Not a bad looking run from Anya. Wild. <laughs> First time here. Katrina Eigenman next up for Liechtenstein. Her yeah, first yeah. time here. Started sliding in February 2019. Has not raced in North America and did not do the NAC races either. 587 getaway. It's her seventh World Cup. This is her first World Cup season. Long skid from two to three. One to two, even. Boy, it's hitting the wall from three to four. Now, is control a bad thing? A thousand words on my desk by Monday morning. At the moment, it might not be. If you're not skidding, then you're not giving away too much speed. Whoa, 12.13's a little wild. Hill 26th place. She's 25th. She's ahead of Amelia Coltman. Speed is only 26. This is going to be very close indeed. It's Katerina Eigenman or Amelia Coltman, and it's Eigenman. She is in the race at the moment. If you're not looking to win the race, if you're looking to make the second heat, don't skid. Set the sled up for control. Give yourself a chance, especially on this place. And the ice is hard enough. You can get away with a bigger contact patch without really dragging speed out of the sled. I'm not sure what the setup that she and the German coaches that are helping her came up with. Right now, Katrina Eigenmann of Liechtenstein is in the race. From Zaragoza in Spain, Clara Atznar made her world well, her, uh, sliding debut here. Two bronze medals in the Youth Olympic Games qualifiers back in 2019, 2020. It's her favorite track, the 17-year-old says. It's only her third World Cup start. She made her debut back in Beijing, raced again in Innsbruck. This is a very different track, but one that she's got good memories of. 24th to start, but she's slipping away. Oh, big height exiting 12. Good chicane, but the head's up. Only the 28 speed. I don't think she's going to make it. 567, two tenths quicker at the start than we saw from Katrina Eigenman, but not enough. Our 17th in Beijing will remain her World Cup best result in her debut season of just three races. In the World Cup, that is. 33rd and 25th in the NAC races here a couple of weeks ago. Could not quite find enough speed today. Look at the commitment, head buried. Just 17, youngest slider in the field. Former speed skater. Can't be many of them in Saragotha. Hello, Caleb Smith, holding the sled and helping with the coaching for the USA's Michelle Toucan. 31-year-old has a dozen NAC races on this track under her belt. This is only her second ever World Cup race to make a debut in Lillehammer. Two silver medals in Lake Placid for Michelle. Finished 20th in Lillehammer. Let's see what she can produce here. Well, she's produced the 13th fastest start for a start. Teammate leads. She's in 16th place on the splits. Michelle Toucan from the USA. 
73 hundreds back, and Dean's place on the splits. Behind Tina Herman. Takes two here through the chicane, and that's robbing her of a bit more speed. Only the 24th best speed. It's going to be close, but she should be in the race. Nice clean line straight of heart, and across the line, 24th, she's in. Caleb Smith helping with the coaching, former US slider, US coach, now a viniculturist. Yes, he makes wine, grows his own grapes and makes wine, and hasn't forgotten how to coach. Michelle Toucan is in. Katerina Eigenman's tenure on 25th place lasted just two minutes. Michelle Toucan is in. Katerina Eigenman of Liechtenstein is out. Not the cleanest chicane. We've seen harder hits. Ooh. Oh! Oh! He dropped. Well, hopefully she's okay. Meanwhile, two to go, and the only debutante in the field, Song CG of China, 23 years of age. Her first ever races were in the North America's Cup here in Lake Placid. She made her Europa Cup debut in Lillehammer in November 2022. Has had just 14 races in her career of any kind. Official IBSF races, that is. Now, there is a slight track hold. We saw Michelle, I'm sure that was Michelle running back down the track. I don't know why. And then she flew out through retaining wires. And again, I'm not sure why. <clears throat> well, there she is. Looks like she's okay. Did the sled escape? Does that go backwards down the track? Maybe it did. Anyway, we should be ready to go with our rookie, 23-year-old Song Xiechi. Raced in the NAC races here a couple of weeks ago. 14th in race one, 22nd in race two. There's Cassie Ravelli. The jury president for the IBSF, giving her the two-minute warning. So just trying to keep her legs warm. Apart from the fact you don't want to lose any heat from the muscles for speed, you also don't want to lose any heat for the muscles because you don't want to pull anything. Oh, not the smoothest of... World Cup debuts. Had to wait 31 sleds, plus another couple of minutes. <laughs> All right. We seem to be back under control. Let's see where we're going. So it was a long two-minute warning. She will get the lift door buzzer, and then there will be 30 seconds in which to start. So she's keeping herself warm as possible. So another one of our do you remember Daniel Schletter on the phone at the top there? So I'm not quite sure what's going on, but they have been given time to count down. Coach still not putting the sled on the ice. All right. Well, a long hold for Song CG. I'm sure racing at the lower levels, she's experienced this as well. Probably didn't want it on her debut, but let's see what she can produce. Penultimate slider in the heat. Only the fast 25 through. 
Let's see what she's got. 565 getaway. Not slowest, but only the 24 fastest. Very inexperienced in terms of any kind of racing. May know Lake Placid as well as any other track. There's 14 races under her belt. It's in the race at the moment. 24th on the splits, but it is on a ninth edge. Whoa, big skid from 12-13. Missed 13 entirely. Out of Adam's bench, shoots the chicane pretty decently. Top 20 speed, out to 26th on the splits though. This is going to be close. Is she in or is she not? Yes, she is. 5-6-6-1. She is in with one to go. 24th place. She gets a second heat. Well, watching back home, coach Dirk Matchens has another new young World Cup slider on his hands and she will be in the race. That means that Austria's Yulia Erlacher is out and USA's Michelle Tokan in 25th place has one more to wait. Well, it was pretty skiddy early on. She hasn't got the fastest start and gave away some of that speed before she got down to the Devil's Highway. And then a little bit rocky, 12 to 13. Track is clear to start Pretty one. decent There's chicane, two. you have to say. Two hits, but they both came square. So Song CG is in the race. And does her teammate Chu Yang Yi get in as well? Oh. Chu, 23. Her fourth World Cup start. She's had five races on this track in NAC and ICC. Her first race here back in November 2019. She then raced in the World Championships in Altenburg in 2020 and did three World Cups in a row in December 2021. She's not been in the World Cup squad since then. Right now, of the 12th start, this could be a very good-looking run. Knocking on the door of the top 12, only 13th on the split. Head of Alessia Cripper, Kelly Delka is 12th, but she's drifting away now. Up to 17th place. 21st at the line, she too is in. So, Chu Yanqi makes it in in 21st, ahead of Anna Fenstedt. And Song CG is 25th and will be the first starter in the second hit. Both of our 23-year-old Chinese sliders make it in. Well, she didn't get the nicest of kicks out of that right-hand starting groove, did she? And a little high, late height in 12. Skidding through the chicane. That takes a hit on the exit anyway. But she is in. Lots of gaffer on the padding under her chin. You can tell that she's had a few scrapes through training. Well, Missy Rowe of the USA leads on home ice. The fastest starter in the field. Last year's push world champion. At that stage, she was not qualified for the USA's World Cup team, so did not race the following weekend in the World Cup. This year she is, she has, and she leads. Let's take a look at how they line up then. It's a closely fought top six. 3,200s covering the top six. Valentina Margaglio out of it, I think. But Katie Ulender not out of the medals. Never count her out. Mystique Rowe, just 800s ahead of Kimberly Boss, who now has one and a half hands, let's say, on the Crystal Globe to become, for a second time, our women's skeleton World Cup champion. And down towards the tail of the top 25, we find both of our young Chinese sliders. 
Xu Yang Qi in 21st place, and Song CG makes it in in 25th. At the expense of Michelle Toucan, the local girl. She, Yulia Erlacher, and the rest of them will join us watching the second heat. And you can do the same. And that comes up at 5.20 Eastern, 21.20 GMT. 2220 Central European time. So wherever you're watching, join us please. Till then, from me, Martin Haven, and the IBSF TV crew, that's it for the moment. We will see you in 20, at, at uh, 35 minutes or so. 20 past. Bye for now. <laughs>